Baltimore City has challenges ahead as the homicide rate continues to climb and the federal corruption trials of gun task force officers are underway. City Council President Jack Young spoke to reporters about the state of the police department today. WJZ is live. Pat Warren report on what's expected from the new commissioner. Pat? That's right, Denise. Two things sum it up. Stop the violence and restore public trust. There have been 19 homicides in Baltimore this month, including this double homicide in West Baltimore Tuesday afternoon. Baltimore's new police commissioner, Daryl D'Souza, has been in command since last Friday, and in that time, eight people have been killed. There's people at home in their homes, in their houses, and in the community that's, that's frustrated and they want answers and they want change and it's going to happen. And questions loom about police community relations with gun task force officers indicted for corruption. I do know that some of the street guys used to say that the police department had these officers that were robbing them, um, you know, and I didn't believe it. City Council but President Jack Young considers public trust and transparency a priority. I think that, you know, this new commissioner is going to um, do the same thing that Davis was trying to do. is get rid of these officers who are doing bad things in the post department because they make the whole department look like everyone is corrupt and everyone is not corrupt. And everyone has a role in good policing. People that really need to come together. You, know, um, you can have a lot of rules and things, but the people need to come together. City Council is expected to approve the commissioner designates appointment sometime next month. I'm Pat Warren reporting from 4WJZ from City Police Headquarters. Now back to you. Thank you, Pat. D'Souza says he plans to create a constitutional policing unit to provide oversight on the street. A Justice Department investigation found that Baltimore police routinely violated civil rights.